oh wow, this is reminding you to do that again. Yeah, <laughs> that happens like all the time. Uh, I'm not. I, I'm not leaving a world until it's uh, as done as it can be. So we're gonna let's go back a bit. Cause um, every t whenever you do a secret area, uh, you can go back there again. And thankfully, the second time they allow you to use flood. Um, That's nice. And uh, it's a red coin challenge. So they are very nice. They they are no. They, most of them aren't too bad just because. Just because you have flood. Was that so. a Was one of the piazzas covered in stuff, or would, would they give you a blue coin? Uh, I, f I don't think that guy would. I think we've already saved him. I can try. Oh well. Wow. I can do go back just to be safe. How come they don't just go into the water? That is, that is a really good question. There's um. A Pianta, uh, I, I don't, he might just be around in El Delfino now, but he's literally, like, on fire, um, but his, he, he's, like, right next to the ocean. So it's just, like, just jump into the water. I get the feeling that they can't swim. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's funny you mention that, because, uh, there's a, there's, there's this little, there's this guy... On a deserted like, island that's just stuck there, but he can't get back because he can't swim or something. But then he, Gosh. but then I think by the end of the game he gets back, and then he gets he's like he, he's just staring at the island, and just like man, I just want to go back there. <laughs> oh man, I don't really talk to much the Piantas much, but nice little. Bags. <laughs> the nice little world building is nice. Uh, it is uh, cool. Th they kind of are jerks, I guess. But I, I, I also just love them because they, I love the the, the sounds they make, and also just their general like design is really cool looking. I think. But the design is a piatas. Yeah, and. Uh, I I think the the, the spin-offs used them quite a bit during this like after this game too. I mean they're they never really went away. Yeah. And I know oh crap, we've got to be fast. I forgot how strict this timer was. Um you don't lose a life for lo losing for failing this right? I think you might Ooh! Wow. Let's see. Oh yeah, you do. Wow. Are we... He's Louise, why did he... Just die of despair? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, it gets ridiculous um, in some of the other challenges. Because, uh, like, you lose a race, and then Mario just has a heart attack somehow, and he just dies. It's like, yeah, I won the race! I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. And he just he just dies on the spot. Just say, like, "Yo, are you okay? Are you okay there?" Yeah, we got plenty of time this uh, this run. Mm. Ah, yeah, I'm dead. Dang it. I really wish I didn't have so little lives. Mario's basically still half. She's still basically on parole, even though everyone saw the other Mario in broad daylight next to him. Yeah, the, the uh, it's just story sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's, they they clearly didn't think a lot of this stuff through. I appreciate the the. Attempt at more voice acting and actually some some somewhat of a personality now, but yeah, some work. Yeah, okay, I need to get that one. Should probably be doing this earlier. Uh, I think the timer stops when you get the eighth coin. Please be the case.
be hilarious if you actually ran into the other shine sprite. Oh, <laughs> uh, I... Sometimes I've worried about that actually happening. <laughs> Right, I need I need to get that life. I'm running way too low. Right. Also, an another thing uh, regarding hundred coins. Uh, because of how, like, blue coins work in this game, and how, how like, in 64, if you get a blue coin, you get five regular coins. In this game, you don't have that benefit, so you're gonna have to just deal with the regular coins, which makes them suck even more than they already do. There's some... Um, Has that... Yeah. I'm just running in circles. Yeah, what is he... What is up with that guy, actually? Oh, he's just... Oh, oh, he's having a mental breakdown. <laughs> no. And this guy. I know, he's scrubbing himself. <laughs> ah. I do like the piadas when they're not being jerks. Yeah. As most of the civilians seem to be nice to you. Yeah. There are, like, a decent amount of Piantas that are, like, and, like, characters in general that are decent to Mario. Like, the, uh, the, um, hotel guy in Serena Beach comes to mind immediately. Because, like, he, he, he never really, like, mentions, like, at all about, oh, you're, like, messing up the island or anything. He, he just like, say, like, oh, ha, ha, there's like a, like problems going on. Like try and help us and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to remember. There's uh, still missing a bunch of coins. Oh, okay. There's uh, that guy up there. That's uh, one of the... I think it's one of the episode exclusive blue coins for this guy up here. I think, anyway. How did he even get up here? I don't know. Thanks anyway, though. <laughs> A bunch of these guys. Okay, so oh, that's nice. Yeah, I I can I can live with that. Are you going to be living with that? Yeah. Okay, I was waiting for this guy to show up because I think this is a blue yeah. And a rocket nozzle. So uh, you yeah, there are three different n uh, nozzles. Uh, for flood, the, um, if you, yeah, you just rock it really high. The downside is that you can't have multiple, like, secondary nozzles at a time, so if you have this, you don't, you no longer have the safety of a hover, um, so, yeah, most of the time, most of the time I tend to stick with hover, just because I like that safety, but, yeah. Lily pads with no f frogs here. Oh huh, yeah, I don't know if there, I don't think there are any frogs in this game. It's mostly kind of empty. Yeah. Tell me if you ever like see end up seeing a blue coin anywhere. Hmm. 
Okay, I guess we're fine. Is there like a wiki page or something that tells that can tell you like the best stages for 100 coin challenges? Because that would help a lot uh, if we like can get something like that. Yeah! Thanks for that. <laughs> to go for the time being anyway I can't remember if there's a blue coin that shows up on that pillar because uh, that's one of the few instances of a, of a bottomless pit so I don't really I don't like the idea of having to go out there to check Dang it. Stages of Bianco Hills. Yep. Episode is the best episode to get a hundred coins in. Uh, what episode? Episode eight. Oh, okay, so just go to the last one, alright. Okay, so... Piranha, uh, P. Piranha's back. Um, they, the different difference is that he has uh, some actual moves now, like this tornado. Um, and, like, you, you're gonna have to force him out of the air um, by just spraying at him. But you can't do it whenever. I think you have to wait until he stops moving. Wait, okay. There we go. I got those things in the background. Oh, these things? Yeah. Oh, that you can just, like, shoot them. Like, do that. <laughs> like Pikmin enemies. Yeah. Yeah, basically. You don't actually have to do that to get him down, but it feels satisfying. <laughs> Also, if you, what he's actually like trying to do is just puke up a bunch of like goop, which is disgusting. <laughs> Wait till we find Yoshi in this game. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've heard, I've read up that apparently that's not like actually like a like like proper Yoshi's. It's like the apparently they're like fakes. That may, like, Delfino's maybe. variants. That's why they just in rain water. Well, I've heard more so the fact that they're, they're like fakes made by Shadow Mario or something. It's like kind of sad. Yeah. I don't know if that's <laughs> true, that's, that's, but they're fakes. Why do they actually look like regular Yoshi instead of abominations? <laughs> yeah, that's true. They. they... Besides, like, melting in water, they look just, just like the the other guy, the normal Yoshis. I swear Mario's foot was, like, in the ground for a minute there. Game is weird! <laughs> yeah. Just the fact that, like, it has a lot of weird enemies, like... It's either, either it's a weird version of a no, of a normal Mario enemy, or it's something completely new. Um, 
actually yeah, ignoring all the variants of like old Mario enemies. All the enemies in this game return. Hmm. Yeah, like the, you're not gonna find like a regular creep, a uh, regular creeper or goomba. You do find a type of creeper later on, but it's not what you think it's gonna be. Um. Now, well, there is technically a Goomba in the game, but it's not an actual, like, enemy. There's, like, um, what was it? There's, like, a, uh, secret image of a Goomba sprite or something you can find in Pinna Park if you, like, angle the camera in a certain way, which is really bizarre and interesting. Uh, it, you can, if you, like, want to find, look at that for yourself, uh, it's, uh, it's um, it's, it's kind of interesting stuff. I don't know how you what the angle is specifically like to look at it, but I don't know. It's fascinating. Pretty Mario team generally seems to like prefer just not being in the Mushroom Kingdom for one reason or another. Yeah, like even so like sixty four like isn't really in the Mushroom Kingdom. It like. It's hard to say. I presumed it was. Like, I presumed mm. it was. Yeah, because like, it's never really- it's never really clear, like, where those worlds actually are. I mean, I, I don't know, but pretty much all of the enemies are the same guys you find in every other Mario game. Yeah. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go back to the- Pretty world, which- wait, what? No, I was just gonna say, I'm gonna go back to the PE Piranha area, just to make sure there's no blue coin. 3D world, which doesn't take place in the Mushroom Kingdom, but pretty much all the enemies are Bowser's guys, I guess, because Bowser is still your enemy there. Mm. Yeah, this game is definitely trying to play up the Mario is in a foreign land element. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, now I remember. They, they give you these clouds that you can expand by spraying them um and then th this makes more sense i wish i had uh ooh, i wish i had um a hover but we can make do with this and then spray that there we go okay so i had the right idea i was just thinking a bit ahead Let's just not kill ourselves getting back. But I, I think, um... I think we might have something to do with, uh... Oh, that was close. We, we might have a Mario 2 uh, USA, like, Doki Doki Panic to thank for... Uh, th thank for, like, the 3D games and a lot of spin-offs and stuff, like... Expanding beyond the Mushroom Kingdom, because I think... I have a feeling that if, um... We didn't get Mario 2 like like that. We, I I feel like they wouldn't be wouldn't have been so. Uh. They they I feel like they would be a bit more reluctant to branch out the uh, Mario world. I guess, I'm not sure, but I I, f I feel like we have at least some some of that to thank for Mario 2. Does the first four 3D Mario games kind of mirror the first four in, in terms of, like, formatting, like... Yeah. Mario Bros. Super Mario 1 is Mario 64, there's a... a groundwork laying, basically. Yeah. Two USA... I mean, Mario 2 USA and Mario Sunshine are the weird ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good and way Mario 3 and Galaxy 1, um, this one, this one, the comparisons get a little more dicey. Mm. Get a little more, I don't know, I guess trying to refine the first game a little more, but... Yeah. Galaxy 1 probably plays, Sunshine plays more Mario 64 than Galaxy 1 does, even though... Reggie's insistence that Galaxy 1 was a true successor to the Mario 64. Yeah, that could, that... That, that, that... that. 
that's debatable. I yeah, now it like I I would I would have agreed with him then, but nowadays I'm not so sure because if if anything that like Sunshine is more of a well, it, it was like the true sequel for the time, and I honestly still think to like today that is more of a true sequel than Galaxy is because uh, sixty like again that Sunshine is you is um. It plays the most like 64 out of any of the other 3D Mario games, and it's using 64's best elements. Whereas Galaxy, it has the same general move set for the most part, but it's going for something completely different in its execution. So I don't, I, I don't really consider that that like to be like the true sequel in quotes. I don't know. Clearly referring to, um, I think he was referring to like reception, but mm, that makes more sense. He, is, you know, he makes those like, like 2006, and then in 2017, Nintendo releases a chart how 3D Mario's and Galaxy is separated from Mario 64. <laughs> yeah, like didn't they have a thing where um, new nozzle, but we're not going to be able to use it for a little bit? Um, wasn't there like a chart? The chart like. 3D Mario's that are like big open collector from platformers with like 64 and Sunshine, and then the other stuff like the linear ones were like Galaxy 1 and 2, 3D Land, World, and all that. That's that's exactly what it was. Okay, yeah. Years of Galaxy fans pissing on 3D World for not being a real 3D Mario game kind of sounds a little silly in hindsight. Yeah. I can forgive- I, I can forgive 3D- 3D Land for being more simple, for being, like, a handheld 3D Mario. Um, and... In- in a world where Odyssey's available, uh, I'm more... I'm more forgiving to 3D World now, too. Um, it just- I don't know, uh, it just it just kind of felt weird at the time, like having a sequel to a 3DS game and not and not have like your typical uh, 120 stars or anything like that. I don't know. This is giving me paranoia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the first one that gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. I hate these levels. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't blame you, honestly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thankfully, the controls in this game are really good overall. Oh! Except for when stuff like that happens. Uh. He's in space, can he really fall to his death? Guess not. <laughs> uh, like, I, li I like how, like, the these are, uh, like, just otherworldly kind of just environments going on because it's just like you go to a um the, the, pro the regular areas and then you're suddenly in this weird H. yeah you're just in this weird space uh thing <laughs> uh. I can just use parkour to kind of break <laughs> the levels a lot yeah, the the speed run, like speed runs, you can do some crazy stuff. I'm not really that good at any of it. At least this, this one is nice and gives you pretty much guarantees you two lives. If you're careful. Yeah. They know that this is where the things. Th this I I I'd say that this level is where things. Dang it. This is where things start to rack rack, rack up a bit in difficulty. I expected players to play through every mission in this level. <laughs> Get out. I keep on trying to do a spin jump, but I keep doing a a, 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 a uh, somersault instead. Which is making me like not go as far as I want sometimes. Yeah, the, you don't have a long jump in this game. Uh, that's like, I think the only move they, the, well, the only jump they removed from 64 to this game. 
Oh my goodness. Alright, we're just gonna have to wait. I think it comes back. Please come back down. Okay, cool. Uh, but you don't have a long jump in this game, uh, but the, the, and the, cl the closest you're gonna get to something like that is a, um, like a somersault into a, into a dive. That can, that, if, if you do that, like, simultaneously, you can get a pretty, pretty sizable distance. And there's no, like, punch-kick combo anymore. Uh, for whatever reason, what? it's like... Why did Mario punch in 64? I, I think it's one okay. I think it's one of those things where they just wanted a way to uh, take care of enemies, because um, 3D with the tr transition to 3D, like jumping on things, isn't going to be as precise, which is the exact reason why Sonic got the homing attack in this in, in adventure. So I oh, guess it's one of those. Attack. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where it's just like. Uh, we kind of need to compensate for the 3D space, so let's just give Mario some combat, uh, like just ge like generic punch kick combos. Uh, um, that's actually really good. That's actually really good game design. Like, yeah, platformers should probably have a beyond just jumping on an enemy. Yeah, because I I I've tried playing 3D Sonic without using the home attack and it's nearly impossible so it's like i i commend them for thinking about that for sonic and uh, they they basically try new ways to handle that uh, handle that problem for for 3d mario in basically every game now that i think about it because 64 had the the punches and all that uh and you could also just dive into enemies too this game has Flood, uh, Galaxy has the Spin Move, Odyssey has Cappy and all that. And then 3D Land, 3D World just lets you go to town with the power-ups. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, actually. I haven't really paid much attention to it until now. I mean, it's fair because trying to kill enemies with jumping in a 3D space is kind of finicky at times. Yeah. It, it, it can be annoying when you're trying to do that and then you just get get hit in the process because of depth perception and all that. Like, uh, yeah, Crash Bandicoot would be a lot harder if you didn't have a spin. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Also, don't get the don't get the turbo nozzle before you go in here because the uh, secondary nozzle you have when you enter this section. Um, like, we'll, we'll stay with you, so like, if you, if you went, if you got the, uh, oh my, yeah, that was stupid. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, if you, if you went in here with the turbo nozzle, you, you would, like, stay, like, keep it, even, I think, even after you die, and that's not gonna help you here at all. So, yeah, d just don't do that. I made that mistake before. Oh, goodness. Yeah, these red and blue platforms remind me of those things in Galaxy, like the flip switch stuff. Yes. Oh, you were just see because breaking everything. It feels good when you have Flood back. Ow, stop. You need all the time you can get, because, uh... Oh, dang it. I don't know if we're going to have enough time. We're going to have to rush. <laughs> it's sweet time! Yep. Yeah, we're, I don't think we're even going to get up to this set area before time runs out. I think, I think you're done. I think you're done, Harry. Yeah, let's just kill ourselves. <laughs> There's no way. Oh my brother, I love him! 
Even though I didn't take him on this vacation. I, I guess, in a sense, Luigi, like, dodged a bullet because, like, he... He, we ha we have to go through all, all this nonsense wh while he's probably just at home chilling or something. <laughs> oh, I'm writing his diary. <laughs> uh, th isn't there like a thing in like Thousand Year Door where he's just like, uh, so I I found like the um, Waffle Kingdom or something. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Bless you. I can do. I still need to play Thousand Year Door, actually. You haven't played it? Nope. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad! Oh, they just literally took the floor right out from under you. Dang it. I like how there's just Weed. a hole in the middle of the, the abyss. As yeah, Luigi has like literally no relevance to the main plot of Thousand Year Door, he hub world just to kind of tell Mario what he's been doing while he's off on his adventure. Oh, okay. Like the turn of millennium through like the mid two thousands was not a good time for Luigi. <laughs> well, at least Thousand Year Door did something. <laughs> Excuse me. At least Thousand Year Door did something with him at least. Yes, it's more than oh, what he got it. in the first Paper Mario or Mario RPG. Yeah. He did not seem just like developers at the time just did not seem interested in him unless it was sports. Man, feels, feels bad. At least they gave him Luigi's Mansion, I guess. But yeah, you know, they don't really do a lot of him in the main ser in the main like three D three D stuff. Like we don't even like see him until like Galaxy. I think. Which is like... Come on, reach, reach, reach! There we go. I mean... I mean, yes, they care enough to put him in Mario 64 DS, but... That... Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's true, that's true. I mean, yeah, retroactively put him in that one, so Sunshine now is the only... ...here at all. Mm. No, 3D Mario teams just doesn't... The pretty Martins don't seem to care about him that much. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, that's my okay, okay. Ugh. Like I'm not even necessarily asking him to be playable, just have him just be there to say like, oh, how are you doing, Mario? Or something like that. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh the side effect of the Mario games not really having much in the way of plot. Yeah. Because whoever they accidentally is who they need for the... Yeah. They kind of just... Okay, okay. Mm. This might be bad. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no! The... Dang it! What happened? I don't know. Ugh. Because, uh... I think... I swear she, once you get the last red coin, like... If you... If you were hovering, I swear, like, half the time you just it just deactivates. I don't know. That was not meant to be a double jump. I'm having a lot of trouble with this. Got a lot of lives though. This is one of the only Mario games that actually saves your lives as well, uh, by the way, because in like Galaxy, I, I believe you just, every time you boot up the game, you just start with like four lives. So. I'm not happy about that in Galaxy, so I have to pretty much go through. Kind of build up lives, like just, who, who gives you lives there? Meltoad, I think. 
I think there's a um, th there's a thing in the Starship Mario that can you can stock up some lives through that. But yeah, there's a uh, I don't know. I go to, like up to the Starship and there's like one just near. For some reason. Yeah. Play a game no! with one of the. What the heck happened there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Well, let's just not- Oh gosh, you're still doing it. I should have disabled the, f the flip thing. I wish it did disable it afterwards, but, you know. We're fine. Oh yeah, I think after we're done with Bianca Hills, we should uh, call it a session, because it's really late for me. Yeah, these levels take quite a bit longer, because there's only like, seven or eight of them, but they take much longer. <laughs> Shadow Mario. So you chase them down in every level, don't you? Yeah, every episode seven is a Shadow Mario stage. You just basically just spray him until he gets knocked down. There's not much to really say about it. Sometimes he like stops like that just to throw you off, because if you bump into him, he, you'll take damage. It's the only way he can hurt you, really. Until until he gets like, dangerous type Is that a blue coin you knocked out? But, uh, I... Oh! Okay. Uh, well, there's this. This is what I was thinking about earlier. Can get this now. Well, Shadow Mario is just on the floor. Wait, did he just get back up? Because I swear I just heard him move. But that. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is another type of uh, blue coin. We just there's um, two types of graffiti for the same lower. And um, each or both of them gives you a blue coin. He did get back up. What the heck? I've never seen that before. Alright, you know what? Screw it. I, I'm, I'm gonna let him do his business while I see if I can find it, the remaining ones. <laughs> <laughs> He's patiently waiting for you. Yeah, he doesn't. He 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 only moves when you're near him. So um. Let's see. We need three more, I think. Because uh, the last two again, you can't... We're gonna need um, Yoshi for the last two. And you collected like a few in the main hub world? Uh, I don't think I did. I can... Uh, there's a map. Okay, 25. Yeah, I think, I think uh, these are the only, only ones we have. Cause, oh, um, so I know. Okay, yeah. Cause um, <laughs> cause um, I well I I used to like do stuff in Delfino Plaza like right away, but it made for me anyway. It makes more sense to do it like later, uh, because it's very easy to f forget what you've already done. So I I do it when I can. I know I can do it in one fell swoop. Oh, okay, there we go. Because I, I, I knew there was one that appears around here. But took its sweet time showing up. And they never do this again in a Mario game. <laughs> okay, we need two more, but I, I'm kind of blanking on where they are. Um... What do you have to say? Can you stop moving. It's like a gremlin. I can't find my sister. Oh no! That doesn't have anything to do with blue coins, by the way. I don't. 
it's probably like some kind of NPC uh, quest going on in the background. There's probably another one up here somewhere. Kinda... Hmm. Uh, even I, like, I, I've completely had, like, a 180 on blue coins. Because I used to hate them just like anyone else. I, I enjoy them, a, a, finding them a lot now, because it gives me a sense of, uh, exploration. But even I sometimes get my, like, just brain farts on where these things are. So... <coughs> Cause I, I believe, I'm pretty sure we got the one up here. So let's just go and land. I think you got all of them. You sure? King IGN's uh, Sunshine Guide. On seven, there's only like three of them. Oh, really? Huh. Okay. Was that mother hugger trying to target you? Yeah, yeah the- <laughs> You were falling. <laughs> With style. <laughs> oh, man. And, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, man, the- like, the, Persistent enemies like that creep me out. The Yeah, the, the cloud enemies that target you like that are probably some of the more annoying enemies to deal with. Yeah, where is that guy? There you are. <laughs> he was just hiding behind a corner. Tracked you down by your theme music! That's basically- yeah, that's basically how you find him. There we go. Also, funny thing, uh, just- I'm not weak! <laughs> if you hold R when getting a shine, Flood just freaks out. <laughs> Uh. Slowly. Another knows Mario has still not cleaned up the friggin' mess. <laughs> Mamma mia, I got these shines to get. I don't know. Red coins are the light. Now, on a game to just tell us what Luigi was doing <laughs> during the events of this. <laughs> that would be fun. Days we're probably just, like, probably just going for a picnic. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> that, 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 that would be really interesting for a game concept. Like, Luigi's just like, Oh, Mario's gonna go on a vacation without me. I'll go on my own with Daisy, screw you. <laughs> In a Mario dating sim. Oh, gosh. Let me play it. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to see how far the rabbit hole goes. <laughs> okay, I did get the one with the... Um, okay, I, just to be sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's only two I can't get now, but... Episode 8, uh... Yeah, it's only two involving Yoshi. There's only two of all involving Yoshi, okay, so... They're, they're both in this episode 8, so you can't really do anything about it. Yeah. Well, just to be just to be certain, how many uh, blue coins are in an area? In Bianco Hills, it's 30. Okay. Oh! Oh, I think this is one. Please. Oh, dang it. I was gonna say, I thought that was gonna be- Oh dang it, I got an extra life. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be a blue coin. Don't you already have 28? Uh, we only- we only have 26. Oh. So, we're missing something. I forget what, though. 